Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about example problem on probability in probability and statistics course. The given problem is when a fair coin is tossed three times, then find the probability of following events. First one is probability of getting all our heads. Second one is probability of getting two heads. Third one is probability of getting at least one head. Fourth one is probability of getting at least two heads. Fifth one is probability of getting no heads. When a fair coin is tossed, we are getting two possibilities. One is head and another one is tail. When a fair coin is tossed three times, what, how many number of possibilities we are getting? So, 2 power 3. Okay. That is 8 possibilities we are getting. That 8 possibilities are, first one is, all are heads. Second one is, Two heads and one tail. Third one is one tail and two heads. And fourth one is one head and two tails. Fifth one is one tail and two heads. Sixth one is Two tails and one head. Seventh one is two tails and one head. And eighth one is three tails. So these are the possibilities we are uh, getting. When a fair coin is tossed, Two possibilities we are getting. Two possibilities we are getting. One is a head that can be denoted by H, and another one is a tail that can be denoted by T. When a fair coin is tossed three times, when a fair coin is tossed three times, so two power three, eight possibilities we are getting. Eight possibilities we are getting. How we are getting 8? So, total number of coins are total number of coin, coins are 1. That can be tossed 3 times. In each and every time, there is a possibility of getting head or tail. Therefore, we are getting 2 power 3. That is 8 possibilities. That are the 8 possibilities. Okay. So, therefore, exhaustive number of cases, exhaustive number of cases that can be denoted by small n that is equal to 8. So, when a fair coin is tossed three times, how many number of total possibilities we are getting? Eight possibilities we are getting. Therefore, exhaustive number of cases is equal to 8. Now, we can go for the first one. Probability of all are heads. All are heads. Okay. In each case, we have to find out the favorable number of cases. 
okay so favorable number of cases favorable number of cases that is denoted by m that is equal to among the eight possibilities in which possibilities we are getting all our heads so among the eight possibilities only within one possibilities we are getting all our heads so therefore favorable number of cases that is equal to 1 so that contains all our heads in this possibility we are getting all our heads therefore favorable number of cases is equal to 1 so the probability of all our heads is equal to favorable number of cases divided by exhaustive number of cases so favorable number of cases can be denoted by m that is equal to 1 and exhaustive number of cases that is denoted by n that is equal to 8 so 1 by 8 is the probability of getting all our heads next second bit probability of two heads probability of two heads now we have to find out favorable number of cases favorable number of cases that is denoted by m so that is equal to among the eight possibilities how many number of possibilities getting exactly two heads so in this possibilities we are getting two heads in this possibility we are getting two heads in this possibility we are getting two heads only three possibilities we are getting two heads that are h h t h t h t h h okay so three possibilities containing two heads so therefore probability of two heads that is equal to favorable number of cases m divided by n m value is equal to 3 and exhaustive number of cases is 8 so 3 by 8 next third case third case is probability of at least one head probability of at least one head at least one head is nothing but it contains one head it contains two heads it contains three heads okay at least one head is nothing but probability of getting greater than or equal to one head so we are considering one head cases two head cases and three head cases okay so how many number of possibilities so favorable number of cases divided by exhaustive number of cases okay in this case one head is available in this case one head is available in this case two heads is available in this case one head is available in this case two heads are available in this case two heads are available in this case three heads are available at least one head is nothing but so greater than or equal to one so that we are considering one head two head three heads one head two head three heads okay so how many number of possibilities are there seven possibilities favorable number of cases is seven and exhaustive number of cases is nothing but eight so 7 by 8. Next, D bit. Probability of getting at least two heads. 
probability of getting at least two heads at least two heads is nothing but greater than or equal to two heads okay so that is nothing but we are considering two heads and three heads two heads and three heads okay among eight possibilities we are considering only two heads and three heads so here three heads are available here two heads are available here two heads are available here two heads are available so how many number of favorable cases that is uh, m by n m is nothing but 4 and n is nothing but 8 so that is equal to 1 by 2 next last bit last bit is nothing but probability of no heads probability of no heads that is equal to m by n m is nothing but favorable number of cases n is nothing but exhaustive number of cases probability of no heads okay so in which case head is not available in this case head is 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 available but in this case head is not available among the eight possibilities only one within one possibility head is not possible therefore favorable number of case is one divided by exhaustive number of case is nothing but eight so probability of no heads is nothing but one by eight in this way we have to solve any problem that can be asked in probability of coins okay i hope all of you understanding this video if you really understanding this video click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really like this video please subscribe my youtube channel Devela Srinivasara after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel if you have any doubts Please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.